good stuff. It works, right? Yeah, it works. Yeah. What's going on everybody? As you may or may not have known for the past year, John Shu, AKA Mongol John, has been our main shooter and producer for the channel. And today, David, we are doing something very special. He made the transition over the past year from being a small country boy from Ohio <laughs> to being a big city creative. He went from spreadsheets to premiere string outs and yep. we wanted to make sure that he had a look that fit his new profession. And so for a long time, we've been talking about uh, doing a makeover with him and getting him a look that really does like symbolize the transition from office job to creative. And today is the day we're dyeing his hair and with the help of Fashion Nova men's, we are getting him a whole new wardrobe. And a big shout out to Fashion Nova Men's for sponsoring this video. If you haven't checked out their website, they have a huge selection of affordable clothes from denim to essentials to fun and stylish outfits. Man, they got everything. Check it out. First things first, we're at Mess Look in Chinatown, NYC. We're gonna get his hair dyed. So we're here at Mess Look, guys. Clean and modern salon over in the Chinatown area on Bowery. Here's the man, creative man, John. Oh, no, guys. John, John, John. Yo, oh, John, man. I believe to this very day, correct me if I'm wrong, this is your one year anniversary of working full time at the Fung Bros. This is the official one year anniversary, man. It's come a long way. I've changed a lot over the past year. I was actually reflecting on it last night. Lots changed, man. A lot has changed. Let's make sure you got a look that represents that visual change. Okay, Asher, what are we doing for John's hair today? Maybe do the silver or gray color. The whole past week, John has been consulting all his homegirls about what color hair he should get. What color do you recommend? Maybe blonde, maybe silver. Platinum, silver. Platinum, that could be cute. Yeah. Like a darker gray. I feel like a platinum silver is too light. Honestly, the silver, like now that you said it, like all I can see with is the silver. Like maybe a blonde silver on the top and had that fade a little bit and then on the sides. Maybe keep that black or something like that. It feels like you're telling me to just look like you. <laughs> Christina decided to stop by one of our other interns. What, what did you think about John's style when you met him? Upon first look, John's style is nothing. He has a stain on the back of his shirt. Damn! White t-shirt, black sweatpants. I mean, where is the thought? <laughs> So we're just taking a break and we're going across the street to Cam Boat Bakery to go grab some breakfast. Oh, we got the green lights. Okay, so this here is a Portuguese egg tart, AKA a potat. Um, if you want to remember that, just say potato, drop the O and then say the rest funny, potat, with that crispiness and then the gooey center, so. Mm. All right, so I got to get going, but I wanted to leave John with a few parting words, and that is be brave, stay strong, be yourself, and you will look like a pretty, pretty princess in no time. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. John! Oh my God. Wow, wow, this wow. I kind of like it. Like wow, bro. All right, what do you think about your hair? Oh, I feel honestly like a completely different person. It's crazy. Huge, shout out to you, man, appreciate okay, you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, bro. You, thank Yo, you. all right, so that was part one of the makeover. You know, of course, it's the hair and the haircut, and then now we're going on outfits. Shout out to Fashion Over Men's. Come to Mess Look, woo! All right, John, so for your first outfit of Fashion Over Men's, we've decided that we're gonna go with something that we call tactical streetwear. Yes. Okay, so what basically, John, you got the body of like a soldier. You've been mistaken for a one championship mixed martial artist before while we were traveling in Asia. You have a very tactical look. You could play a soldier in a movie in a way that maybe I would not. Outfit number one, boom. Okay, so what we have is a long black tee with long sleeves, okay? So very simple up top, but then you have your cargo camo pants down low, and you have so many pockets here. It's kind of like one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's nice because it's very tactical and allows me to like have different options if I need to. So for example, if I'm out shooting, I can like have extra batteries on me. Definitely look like this is the K-pop dance number. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm ready yeah. to do some like tutting or can, some, can something. You dance? Like, do I gotta be doing right. some like music video stuff right now? If you asked me a year ago this time that I'd be dressed like this, with hair like this, I'd been like, you're crazy. <laughs> All right guys, outfit number one, that's done. 
Let's go to outfit number two. All right, and now we got your TikTok slash YouTube outfit, bro. I probably would never have been wearing this shirt before. I actually feel like it kind of works a little bit. Is that oh, Jake bro. Paul or John Paul? <laughs> Basically what you have, obviously you have your frosted blue hair and you have this crazy tie-dye shirt that I gotta say, to be honest, is giving you so much color for the value. There's a lot of color in the shirt. And then you have your distressed denim, of course, and then zippers on the inside. So you can unzip it if you want, but I would recommend mostly zip. All right, so John, you definitely look like you got more followers than me on IG and for sure at least TikTok. And I'm sure it's not really you, but yeah. I just wanna show you what can work. This is a style for somebody. All right, next outfit. All right, now for your tech skater outfit. John, you totally look like you should be on your one wheel. Shout out to the one wheel. I really like this denim for $45 because it has a really expensive wash. I gotta be honest, I'm impressed because sometimes the distressing looks like they just cut it with scissors, but this really does look worn in. For only $45 to get some legit uh, distressing, uh, I would say this is a deal. So I'm, I'm really all about these pants. This is a pretty basic shirt, but it's kind of like what techies would wear, like maybe an SF. This feels like, honestly, something that I would have normally done more, but I just haven't fully leaned into it. But hey, th that's why these, these clothes fit nice. Next outfit. Outfit number four, you got your artistic normie. Now what we mean is that you look like you could go to art school or you're the artistic friend at like, you know, a regular, more conventional university. So, you know, it, this is based off of a lot of different brands right now. Either Rude or Pleasures, you know, oftentimes they'll use a font that's like this. I would say this is definitely more based off Pleasures um, with the flame and everything. And then you have your biker denim right here, which is kind of cool. You have some extra cool side pockets there, John, like this zip pocket, yeah, that's tight. Yeah, I got a zip, so, got a zip pocket right here. Anytime right? you get a good zip pocket, man, it's worth it because nothing is gonna fall out. It's like out. hidden too, so it doesn't really like look like yeah. it's like getting in the way. And honestly, having the all white Air Force Ones that are a little bit beat up is uh, extra artsy, you know, especially in New York. Yeah, I feel like I actually kind of rocked something similar to this in college to an extent to an extent you know yeah. so this is like kind of like a flashback yeah. but i will say man with the hair it really just takes you out of that corporate lane man so john is actually calling his parents right now and he's going to show them the new outfit new haircut hey mom hey dad <laughs> do you think i look better mom yeah oh it's like an artist color hey yeah. dad what do you think Hopefully girls will like me more. You're gonna, you're gonna find the beautiful girls. <laughs> <laughs> Next outfit. We got the film bro outfit. Hey, so you got a beanie on top. Okay, you have the gray heather hoodie, striped shirt underneath just to give it some, a little bit of texture beneath it, you know, to show a little bit of stripes down there. And I really like this denim. This wash is really nice. I am impressed by Fashion Nova's uh, distressing technique. What are those to draw strings too? Oh yeah, the strings coming out too. That's cool. That's a nice touch. And then you have the Chelsea boots at the bottom, man. This kind so of just opened up the entire like wardrobe with flexibility and options. If I had to say which one I think people pick the most, probably the first one, because I think it just kind of like, it just it just pops, you know. You got the camo pants on. You got okay. the chain. So you think the I mean, you people... look like you were signed to an Asian pop label? Yeah, yeah, I think it'll just make sense, especially with the the crazy hair, you know. Okay, okay. Um, which one do you like personally? Which one do I like? I cut this one. I like a lot. This one, I just feel comfortable in it. I feel like I can relax and just like I'm laid back. Yeah, it doesn't calm. look like you're doing too much. I'm not trying to be too crazy with it, you know. All you right. Know? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna send you those photos. You're gonna post them on IG right now, and then while we go grab pizza. Um, you're gonna let your friends vote and then we're gonna also see what people you know in the YouTube comments think At first it was unexpected, but I rock with it. I like it man. It's good. Honestly like like a K-pop uh, Pop star or something like that. You know, I thought he was just gonna you know be corporate his whole life Got the new drip came out to New York and new yeah, hairstyle he's... man. The new guy, you know <laughs> you He's living his life Oh my gosh. Oh, she copied me. Yeah. Dude, you look good. Well, yeah. I like it though. It works, right? Yeah, it works. After doing all these makeovers, one of the best things about Fashion Nova Men's is the denim. And if you're going for that look and you don't want to spend a lot on designer brands, this is a great option. It has a wide range of colors, washes, fits, different levels of distressing, and even plus sizes. So you know where to go. The link's down below. My hope is now that John looks like a top tier creative. I'm thinking like all the shots are gonna look like cinematic. An hour 
ago, we made you post an Instagram post of all the outfits and have people vote. What's the general consensus? What did most people vote for? Most. I see a lot of fives and ones. Yeah, I think the most liked outfits are definitely number one and number five. Number one is the black and camo, and then number five is going to be your beanie outfit. Okay. Yeah. David's comment goes, Korean Lambda, TikToker with mostly white friends, founder of a frivolous app, university normie hipster, and then film bro at the end. So those are pretty much like the archetypes of people that would wear those said outfits. Well, I think that's what I predicted. My favorite one was number five, and the one that was gonna get the most love was number one. I think it just embodies me. You gotta, you gotta wear at the end of the day what you feel like is gonna represent yourself the most. That's part of why I honestly got this hair. The clothes obviously helps make a big difference as well, and like, you know, that's really the full package. You gotta be able to put together the full package. See, there's different ways to step into the creative feel, right? You have to mentally step in there, physically step in there and then stylistically step in there. And to be honest with you, a lot of people have a certain connotation about fashion over men's, but after going through the outfit challenge today, like, I'm, my mind's pretty positive. No, I, they are all pop. You really. found a lot of pieces that actually do fit you. Yeah, I would wear every single one of them. Actually, I'm gonna take them all home and probably wear them in my everyday life. They actually all fit. I would say the jeans, pretty slim on you because you know, you're a buff guy, so you got big legs. That's but true. if you wanted to wear them slim, that's the style. You could probably go up to 36 yeah. too. Yeah, no complaints. No, no complaints, complaints there, guys. Big shout out to Fashion Over Men's. In the comments down below, please let us know which outfit, one through five, you thought was the best and why. And the best comment will get a $25 Amazon gift card. So we'll reply to the best comment and then ask for your IG handle and then get your email so that we can send it to you. But hey, hey can I, can I outro? And if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please give us a big like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace.